How do you increase test weight in all crops? Well, I, I got a little story to tell you first before we get into, uh, into this specifically. So this goes back, I don't know, 15 years ago now on our own farm. And our dad was getting about ready to retire and he said, boys, you know what? I've been building this ground up for so many years. I think it's about time I start taking some of those nutrients out. And so literally for, I'm gonna say five years on his ground, he put on no P and K. Now year one, his profitability was great. But by about year three, four, five, test weight was going down, moisture was worse, the grain just looked awful. I mean, the, the whole point is, you've gotta have nutrients out in your crop if you want good test weight. And so the very year that our dad retired and we, started, we took over the ground, we just put on a whole slug of fertilizer. That very first fall even, we saw a lot higher yields, better test weight, uh, the, the grain dried down better, uh, the corn stood better during the season, and I don't care what crop we're talking about, nutrients are the real key when we say, how do I increase test weight in my crop? Well, I liked what you said there about the crop was healthier. And when you think about that, if we can keep a crop healthier, it can keep feeding that grain for a longer period of time. Yep. To me, that is really critical. And certainly there's a lot of things we can do to manage plant health. When it comes back to nutrients, as soon as we got those levels up in our soil, our test weights rose a lot. We saw about a six pound increase on our corn test weight when we got our P and K levels built back up. You've got to have those building blocks, right? But there are other nutrients that can help as well. I would probably say the number one key is potassium. Uh, some people will say it's calcium. Others will say it's sulfur. What do you think is the number one thing, Darren? Well, here's the thing is you could talk to a whole bunch of different people and they'd give you different answers because if you look at this soil test, you know what? Here's a nutrient right. you need to apply. Here's what you're short in that will help you. There you go. And that's exactly what I was looking for. I'm glad you brought that up. We want you to soil test because on your farm, potassium may be the key. On your farm, boron or sulfur may be the key or calcium. We don't know unless we look at your soil test or unless you look at your soil test. Get all your nutrients in a good range and you're gonna find that plant's gonna produce more, it's gonna yield more, it's gonna dollar out more. And as to our topic today, it's gonna have a higher test weight. Okay, well here's something that you can do on your farm from last year. If you took good soil tests, take a couple of fields that you had in corn last year and, and let's look at the test weights of the grain that came off those fields. Now look at your nutrients from those two fields well, yeah, but and start comparing, hey, what is really low here compared to where I had a good test weight? Our point is, hey, if we raise the nutrient levels up, then all crops, all varieties are going to have higher test weights and that's what we're trying to achieve. And the other thing that we need is to have nutrient availability late in the season. And to do that, you've got to have an excellent root system and you have to have a healthy plant. So last year we saw a lot of farmers that were used to having high test weights uh, have a significantly lower test weight. And, and many people were saying, what happened with test weights in 2015? Why weren't they as good? And then you ask those same farmers, well, hey, did you have some uh, northern corn leaf blight? Did you have some gosses? Whenever you lose that ability to continue to gain that energy late in the year and utilize the nutrients late in the year, it's gonna cost you in test weight. So managing all those factors in addition to the nutrients is certainly gonna help you build good test weights in your next corn crop. All right, so yeah, we don't care if it's corn, soybeans, wheat, anything. We want higher test weights, period. And the best way to do that is to just have a healthier crop. Crop. So it's everything from drainage to nutrients to managing your weeds, insects, and diseases. It's all things. So this topic, uh, um, I mean, just like the overall profitability topic, I mean, it affects all areas of everything we do in production agriculture. It's really important that we have higher test weight. Just try to manage everything yourself on your farm as best you can. Get good soil tests and work hard on that nutrient side. I still come back to that's probably the number one issue. But yes, you can select different varieties and do a number of other management strategies that should gain you test weight this year. And the other thing that you need to do is manage weeds like our Weed of the Week. We'll show you how to stop this tough weed coming up next. <music>